My name is Stephanie Strait. Um, I am the manager and conductor for the String Project. This organization is here to benefit students from third grade through high school, and they can learn a string instrument outside of their classroom setting. In the elementary school setting, many um, schools do not have an orchestra or serious music ensemble for them to learn in. So we provide that where it's missing in the school system. And for older ensembles or older students who have middle school or high school ensembles available to them, we sort of supplement their education and help them to grow, which contributes to their ensembles and their fellow classmates. The Youth Symphony is for high school age students. It's designed to be a college preparatory ensemble. We help prepare them for the expectations of performance, of practice, of what rehearsals are gonna be like. We also provide teacher training for Weber State students. So all of the ensembles are taught in part by Weber State music majors. Help from Ogden City Arts. It keeps our fees low so that these students can participate you know, at an at a income level that ordinarily instruction like this is not available at. Thank you guys so much. Thank everybody um, that's involved with this organization for making this funding possible. It is hugely beneficial to these students. It affects their lives in a way that I can't even explain. It's for so many of them it has a lasting lifelong impact on them. I'm Case Johnston and I'm one of the two instructors for the Ogden Inspired Writing Workshop. Uh, this is the first time we've re received a grant from Ogden City. Our hopes are in the future that we can have uh, more writing workshops for the, for the community, uh, those who aren't able to access it. I'd absolutely like to thank the Ogden City Arts Advisory Committee and uh, the Mayor for giving us this uh, grant in 2017. I believe that it really did help uh, quite a few people share their stories uh, about Ogden and personally. My name is Raymond Van Mason. I'm the artistic director of Imagine Ballet Theatre here in Ogden and also the director of Imagine Ballet Theatre School. This has been several years now that we've had grants from Ogden City Arts and um, they have helped us this last year with our general operating budget. And those things that it touched on um, and helped us with was last year's Alice Adventures in Wonderland and Conservatoriette, um, a ballet that we produced with the Royal Danish Ballet. And then it also helped produce Kelly Alvarez and Dancers, which was um, the winner of the Rocky Mountain Choreography Festival that we host. And also we have gone to public schools to to bring programming and to rest homes this last year. For our school programming, um, busing the kids into the theater, we were able to touch about um, 3,200 students over the course of the year last year. The dancers at Imagine Ballet Theater um, have to audition to be part of the company. And in, in doing so, um, they give an awful lot of time to their art form. It's the way that Imagine Valley Theatre pays them because they basically are not paying for their classes when we are rehearsing for an upcoming show. So these grants help, help offset some of those costs so that they can continue their studies because it's a very competitive world out there right now and a dancer has to be very prepared. And this, you know, helps keep the cost down for many families here in Utah. My name is Michael Palumbo. I'm the uh, conductor of Chamber Orchestra Ogden. Uh, Ogden Arts has supported us with grants for the last five or six years. They've been really great about it uh, and uh, uh, they've been a, a wonderful support system for us. Uh, well, directly all of the musicians of the orchestra 
are uh, affected by the grant. Uh, we have 50 to 60 musicians depending on the concert and the music that we're playing. Indirectly, everybody that attends our concerts uh, is affected by the grant because since we have the grant, we are able to perform and then they're able to attend the concerts. Uh, with, without the grant, it's very likely that the orchestra would not exist. We appreciate Ogden City and Ogden City Arts and the opportunity to uh, be funded by the grant. I'm Suzanne Storer. I'm a sculptor who works in clay. Uh, my work is in high relief. It hangs off the wall. It is of the figure and it is being collected uh, around the country and I'm delighted to be doing this piece for the um, Lantern House and have the opportunity to uh, have a work uh, in a public place. It's the first time I've received a grant from Ogden City. I've learned a lot so far doing the commission uh, from the homeless people who I've interviewed and also the social workers and staff at Lantern House. It's such a valuable facility. As I've gotten older, I'm interested more and more in having my work speak to social justice issues and also the human condition. And by having this grant to create this commission for Lantern House, I hope that this will give me more opportunity to do other uh, work of this nature in public places. Hi, my name is Alicia Washington and I'm the founder and co-director of Good Company Theatre. Good Company Theatre is in our fifth year of production and we are the only live theatre that happens in downtown Ogden, Utah. I've always said that Ogden City is more of a town than a city and for me that's a huge compliment because in towns there really is that interpersonal connection where we care about each other and we want to see each other succeed. And so within this city, it really is that direct one-on-one -on -one contact, that participation, that mentorship that happens. And what we do here in the arts wouldn't be possible without a city council that supports the arts, um, the mayor that supports the arts, the patrons, um, the everyday citizens that supports the arts, and of course the Ogden City Arts Advisory Committee. I'm Susie Van Hoosier, and I'm the Arch Chairman for Ogden Pioneer Days and Ogden Pioneer Days Foundation. This is our first year to receive a grant from the Arts Committee, and we were very excited to be able to use it for helping us expand our art show to the children in Ogden. Our art exhibit here is called uh, Tools of the Cowboy Trade, and we do it on every Friday night art stroll. Tools the cowboy trade mean anything from belts to buckles to boots and hats, and we have artists who come and sing or poets. I'd like to thank the board for uh, giving us a grant which we can use to encourage Western art in Ogden, Utah, and hopefully expand it to uh, a, a statewide show that everyone can be proud of in Ogden. My name is Todd Oberndorfer and I'm the Outreach Manager for the Department of Visual Art and Design at Weber State University and we are standing in the Mary Elizabeth D. Shaw Art Gallery. Uh, and this isn't the first time that we've received the grants from Ogden City Arts for our Outreach programs. Uh, this is a program that we use to connect uh, children with uh, contemporary art and particularly the Shaw Gallery. 
So the programs that we offer with this particular grant was uh, our outreach programs. Um, we have three or four different programs. Uh, one in, in particular is a Fabulous Fridays that affects 15 to 20 elementary schools. Um, we invite about 30 students for each of those, and so we can do upwards to you know seven or 800 students can be affected by this grant. Uh, for many students, uh, particularly younger students, this is their first uh, opportunity to see and to make art in a contemporary art setting. I'm Lynn Goodwin. I'm the executive director of Treehouse Children's Museum here in Ogden. Treehouse is lucky enough to have been the recipient of several grants over the years from Ogden City Arts, and we are very grateful that, for that support. We actually are celebrating our 25th anniversary this year, and so the grant that we have is helping us continue to do the children's theater and the visual art programs that Treehouse has become known for over the decades. Treehouse has about 175,000 visitors every year, children and parents, and school groups who walk through our doors. Well, Treehouse is um, truly a community organization. We are grassroots, we're a private nonprofit. We were started by people here in Ogden. So we believe strongly that if we want contributors to the arts and patrons to the art in the future, that children have to start when they're young. And we try to be the place where that happens. Kim Bauscher, the Executive Director of the Ogden Downtown Alliance. And I'm Kate Hazelhurst, the Development Director for the Ogden Downtown Alliance. So this was our first time applying for a City Arts Grant, and we put in for a fractal garden that we used at the Farmer's Market. The garden was at the Farmer's Market, and we had about 8,000 visitors every single week. So over the course of 13 weeks, it got used quite a bit. And we decided to keep it on for Harvest Moon, which Kate put together. And we also had it at the fall market, which was an extension that we weren't even sure we were going to have. So it got quite a bit of use this summer. Hi, my name is Rachel Johnson. I'm the marketing coordinator for Ogden Friends of Acoustic Music, otherwise known as OFOAM. And what we do here in Ogden is bring the community a little bit closer with some acoustic music. We've worked with Arts on the Town and have received the grant before. And as you can see, with previous years, we've really done a lot of work with the money. This year, we're hoping to expand our reach with the Ogden Music Festival, really bring different people into Ogden, use the money to go towards having more activities for youth at our festivals, and you know, bringing the community together through music. Indirectly, the grant would affect almost all of the youth in Ogden as we go to different uh, high schools and junior highs and try to promote music. Really, the community at large plays an important role and this money would affect them as well. If it weren't for Arts on the Town and the money that we receive, Ogden Friends of Acoustic Music would have a smaller reach. We wouldn't be able to give music to the people. We wouldn't be able to bring the community together through bluegrass jams around the campfire. You know, things that people really look forward to is only made possible through this grant. And, you know, Ogden Friends of Acoustic Music is thankful to receive it in previous years and let's just let the magic continue one more time, huh? My name is Lacey McFarland and I am the Suicide Prevention Coordinator here at the Weaver Morgan Health Department. So for this year, we um, had an art contest and we worked with Ogden School District and New Hope and we had students in junior high and high school submit artwork based on what they thought hope meant to them. So things that bring them hope. And we displayed that artwork at a suicide prevention town hall meeting where we had about 150 people attend that event. And then the artwork is also going to be displayed at McKady Hospital. Yeah, so we just want to thank Ogden City for supporting us in this event and we are grateful that we were able to get the students involved and to have more participation from the community this year to increase awareness of suicide prevention because it is an important issue. So 
my name is Mandy Ann Paul. I'm the Curator of Education here at the Eccles Community Arts Centre. Um, the Eccles Community Arts Centre has been around since 1959, uh, so we're kind of an old institution here in Ogden for the arts. So we actually have been receiving grants from Ogden City for a while now and they've been a great support to us. They're kind of a general support for us. Um, we use them mostly for our shows and the art strolls as well, which are the first Friday art strolls. Uh, so we have a variety of different shows throughout the year. Definitely everyone who comes to the Art Center is touched by the shows here. Um, we roughly have about 25 to 30,000 people who will come through the Art Center a year. So it kind of affects not only our members and the community, but a wider group within the schools and within the state as well. The Eccles Art Center really appreciates everything that Ogden does for us. Um, it's a place that really uh, supports the arts and we appreciate that support not only from the city but also from the people who come into the art center, the local community. Um, it's because of you guys that we can do everything that we do for our community. My name is Emily Coons. I am the executive director of the Ogden Symphony Ballet Association. We are a community-based arts organization that has been around since 1949, and our mission is to uplift and enrich the community through uh, providing greater access to classical music and dance. This is not the first time that we've received a grant from the Ogden City Arts. We're thrilled to be a repeat uh, recipient of the funds. This past year, we used them to help support our artist fees. Our artist fees can be upwards of $650,000, so we definitely appreciate the community support in bringing this kind of quality art programming to the Ogden area. So this past year, we had 18,500 attendees at our, at our concerts. We also had upwards of 2,500 people touched and impacted by our outreach programs. We have several outreach programs that this funding also helped to support and various other outreach programs that are focused on reaching children and uh, underserved populations in our community. Thank you so much for the support. We would not be able to do what we do without the support from you and from Ogden City. Thank you. Welcome to the Ogden Nature Center. My name is Brandi Bosworth. I'm the Public Relations Coordinator here at the Nature Center. And as you can see, it's a really hard job, but somebody's got to do it. The Ogden Nature Center has received art funding from Ogden Arts before, and this year it was used for two projects, an art poster contest for Earth Day, and also our annual birdhouse competition and exhibit. Every year, the art poster contest receives hundreds of entries from school-aged children. In addition, all of the visitors who go through our education building get to view those art posters. They're on exhibit through the end of June. We receive between 50 and 100 birdhouse entries every year in our birdhouse competition. In addition, over 25,000 visitors enjoy the birdhouses along Birdhouse Trail every year. Special thanks to Ogden City and the Ogden Arts Advisory Committee for funding these projects that bring richness, culture, and art to our community. 